Hello friends, welcome to another Node.js video tutorial by Perfect Web Solutions. My name is Imran Kasim, and in today's video tutorial we are going to discuss about another Node utility or I may say a Node package which is used to automatically reload your uh, browser, uh, your uh, uh, server and where you can like if you have created an HTTP server or Express server you can automatically re reload it using this package. The name of this package is uh, NodeMon and in this video tutorial we are going to discuss about NodeMon. So before I start my video tutorial, as usual I will request you that if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do consider and subscribe to it and please don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notified as soon as I upload a new video or series on my channel. So let's get started. First of all, what is NodeMon? So NodeMon is a utility that, that will monitor for any changes in your source and automatically restart your server. It is perfect for development when you are using npm or node manager. Uh, node package manager is in short it's called npm. So when you develop a server using a node like a HTTP package or express package then you may know that if you run it with the node application then if you make any changes in your application you have to start the node again to make to reflect those changes. But if you use nodeman instead of node to run your code and now your process will automatically restart when your code changes so to install it just let's see how to install this uh, nodemon on your computer so first of all make sure you do have node.js installed with the npm latest package to check it that whether you have node just type node minus v and npm minus v if you see the versions then it means you have successfully installed node and with npm so after that you do need to run npm install node mon minus or hyphen g so g stands for global so it will be accessible globally from command prompt if you are on windows it's command prompt if you are linux on mac user then it will be a terminal right now i am on mac so i will call it terminal so sometime with some restrictions you may have got problem on linux or mac so what you need to do just put sudo before running npm install node mon minus g with this it will ask you for your password and then it will install it successfully globally in your machine after you install node mon on your computer i have done it already so i don't need to run this command so i will if you if i type node mon minus v it will show me the latest current version which is currently 1.14.3 and if there is any update it will tell you that run this command to update your node mon so let's let me give you an example so in this example i'm using express generator which is a skeleton generator for node and express and it is very easy to generate with the different engines like twig, twig jade and some other engine so how to run this if you don't know about express generator i have already created a video tutorial on it just check in this playlist from where you get this video and you will you can find that express generator so let me quickly generate an express skeleton for you so i will type express minus minus view is equal to twig as i am much familiar with the twig engine so i am using here twig if you are familiar with jade or any other uh, engine view engine you can use that one then i will just name it sample site it will create a folder and copy all the files in this sample site and i will run it and you have seen that it is successfully installed now go to cd sample site as it is suggested by this installation here that cd and then run npm install it will take few seconds and will install the express generator skeleton on your machine you have done it now you simply need to do need to do node yeah, or npm start and you see it says sample at the rate 0.0.0, .0, .0 means localhost start node dot slash bin ww so from ww file it has running it's running this server so i know that it have port 3000 localhost 3000 and you have seen that this is the uh, running application express welcome to express so if i make any changes so let me uh, load this folder inside my code editor i'm using some uh, visual studio code you can use your favorite text editor so i'm going to open the folder here uh, open add folder to workspace or just on the in my here i have sample yeah here it is so I just add it so it's loaded here right so I will go into the views and inside uh, index and this is the index file which is loaded here welcome to express so imagine if I make any changes inside this file and I simply put here like this 
and I saved it and when I load it you see nothing will happen reload it again and nothing will happen these changes are not intact I mean these changes are not shown so what I need to do I just need to go to the terminal stop the server and run it again after that now I will reload it and I have seen the changes so this problem will be solved by using nodemon so let me run this with nodemon I will simply run nodemon it will check the package.json package package.json file and automatically load the server so you see nodemon version 1.4.3 to restart at any time enters rs and it will restart automatically otherwise it will automatically restart whenever you make changes so currently it's run only once and you see only one two three four lines so now let me make some changes so suppose I remove this and press the save button as soon as I press the save button this server will restart again and it will show you the changes here and you see it automatically make those changes and server resetted itself and you, you can see those changes again if I suppose I put I go into the routes folder index.js okay I'm doing just showing you the nodemon if you don't know about express generator you can watch that video tutorial where I have explained how to use express generator so I will just put here perfect web solutions and I will save it so when I will save it it's a restarting due to changes nodeman starting node so it again you see first time it runs here then I load the page and it's loaded the files and after that it again restarting the server because I made changes here and also I can see those changes live here so this is how nodemon works this was a quick tutorial for using nodemon for your with your npm so it, there are other possibilities if you go to their nodeman.io you will find our full documentation how to use with other switches and other packages and some other uh, command line uh, I mean arguments so you can even use automatic restarting of application detect default file extensions to monitor default support for node and coffee script but easy to run any executable such as python even it can run the python as well ignoring specific files or directory so for this you can go to its full documentation so here is the documentation on github and you can find many switches like this one like nodemon minus h nodemon server.js on which server you need to run. so these are different options you can use the different parameters you can read this documentation and go further if you want to learn more about nodemon the simplest given example here will work with your any express or http server with created with node so you don't need to use node rather than you can use nodemon and give the file name or by default it will automatically check the package.json and here it's showing start it will run actually this command again and again whenever you make any changes into the file any of the file it will run this line of code each time you save a file so friends this was the tutorial for today and I'm sure you will like this video tutorial and you will surely if you are a node developer you will surely install nodemon now and this was this one was for the beginners so I'm, I'm sure this one is use, useful for you if you are watching till end so thank you guys for being with me till end I hope you will not forget to like and subscribe to my channel so uh, I will now say goodbye and have a good day thank you very much for being with me till end take care and bye